Martucci with you. It took a little while in terms of getting their offense going with Fordham, but once they did, they were flying. Yeah, it did. It was a slow start for the Fordham offense. Both offenses struggled to score, but once the game started to find its rhythm, so did the Fordham offense. Michael Niebrick, his wide receivers. No Sam Ajala. I think that was the big surprise. No Ajala on the outside. Uh, but, uh, you know, still the offense was diverse. It was balanced. It was exactly what we expected. Yeah, it was the Jones, Jones, Edmonds, and Light Show. It sounds like a, a law firm sounds almost, like a law firm. but uh, a lot of different receivers getting involved. And we saw the, the dynamic of this Fordham offense. Yeah, and, and really it, it's a case of pick your poison. Uh, where do you go to stop the Fordham offense when you have Chase Edmonds out of the backfield, when you have all of those skilled receivers and then Michael Niebrick? So, you know, again, it was what we expected, a slow start, but in the end of the day, 45 points for Fordham and a very impressive uh, effort, not just for the offense, but for the defense as well. So the Rams end up going to 4-1, and one. Holy Cross now dropping to 2-3 and three and heading to Colgate next week, right here exclusively on Campus Insiders. For Rich Cervinello, I'm Matt Martucci. We'll see you next time.